Hi everybody, welcome to another video, and in this one we are going to be taking a look at something rather interesting. I would recommend getting some snacks and getting comfortable because this video could turn out to be quite the tin of worms. Rather straightforward worms, but worms nonetheless. Because in this video we are going to be taking a look at the secret sage of Assassin's Creed Origins. I mean, I say secret, but they may as well be shouting it from the fucking rooftops. So to begin our little investigation, we need to head to the Western Fyam region and begin the quest called the Fires of Dionysius. I am Bayek, a Medjay. A real Medjay. Not a Philakitai, I hope. <laughs> I'm Zahra. This was my farm. Who burned it down? Hordes. The naked Iadets trying to drive us out. They are lucky I wasn't here. I would have spread their guts across my fields. I am going to warn my Greek neighbor. His farm might be next. Please join me. I will follow you, Zahra. We have to protect this land. Yes. It is rich and fertile and worth fighting over. Like me. Pretty soon after starting the quest, you will wind up having to rescue a Greek farmer. Upon the rather straightforward rescue of said Greek farmer, you will be met by the following dialogue. Zakra, that was frightening. Nek, beyond we cannot live scared. You must fight back. You truly are a gift from the god, Zakra. I tell all my Greek friends of Zakra, the warrior farmer. We need to find the bandit's nest. I might know where it is. Servants track riders coming south from the White Desert. There is nothing out that way except some ruins. And they mention the name Son of Ra. I think he is their leader. That's quite an interesting name for a bandit leader, the Son of Ra. It gives off the impression that this guy is somebody important. Of course, the quest demands that we look for this Son of Ra individual and find out more. So in that case, this means going into the desert to finding out where the bandits are encamped. When we arrive, we will hear the bandits say something very interesting. You know the Son of Ra is crazy, right? Why? Because he's not like everyone else. He opened our eyes. Upon killing their captain, you will find a message on his corpse. My little children, we live in faithless times. You see it. This world is lost, and I will burn it. My death is transcendence. Don't worry, gods do not die. They do not give up, and they do not fall down. What you don't do is what I will do. Or we'll see a new corona take place with my return. Sunstroker, the son of Ra. Quite an interesting little cryptic message, to be fair. This was not their leader. The son of Ra, the real leader, has been giving orders from prison. He's being held by soldiers at a nearby caravansarai. He has been ordering the burnings. He thinks he's a god and invincible. After this point, we will be sent to assassinate the son of Ra. As we enter back into the Fayum, where the prison is located, we will hear this dialogue exchange between Bayek and Zahra. The bandits believe the son of Ra is a god? How do they that's insane. And it's creepy. I have seen it before. If you want to believe in something badly enough, you will believe anything. And do anything. So the son of Ra has been able to convince the bandits that he is right. Do we know any sages that are able to convince people to follow them to no end? I can definitely think of a few. So the son of Ra carries the same ability as many sages we've seen. The ability to win people over. Once we arrive in the camp, we will hear this. That crazy is not right in the head. <laughs> you see his eyes? You think he's the son of Ra? The soldiers mention the son of Ra's eyes. Though the wiki claims that he possesses heterochromia, I could not find this dialogue. However, they do mention his eyes as if there is something about them that would be considered different. This potentially could be heterochromia, though the Son of Ra's character model does not possess this trait. Sages, however, do not necessarily need to possess heterochromia, but considering that his eyes were unsettling to the guards holding him prisoner, I'd say that he probably has something along the lines of heterochromia, and his character model just isn't detailed enough. So we could probably argue that he does have that eye trait in canon. That is, if he turns out to be a sage, which I'm pretty sure he is. The same guards who made the eye comment in conversation then go on to say the following. He is a dangerous little madman. 
But he has got his own private army. They do whatever he says. I'm more scared of what they will do next. Because somehow he's still communicating with them. Would a normal man do that? If he is a god, a cage won't stop him. <laughs> I just finished my rounds. He's there. The captain wants him executed, but someone higher up is protecting him. Then, we'll have to get his followers before they get us. Now, who would be interested in the Son of Ra so much as to protect him from being executed? If he were a simple bandit leader, that would be nobody. However, the Son of Ra is clearly special, in some way, and not just in the insane way. So special that somebody with legal authority wants him still alive. Now, what's interesting is that when you kill the Son of Ra, you get a White Room Confession. Outside of the main story and DLCs, I do believe this is the only White Room Confession we get in the entire game. So why don't we take a look at it? <laughs> you die easily for a god! I am nobody. Nobody. But when the son of Ra stands on the mountain and says, do it, it gets done. Next, you told them to murder. I am not sorry. Is Bayak Siwa sorry? I lost my family. You lost your family. We have the right to do anything we want to anyone. No, we are different. You burnt farms. You killed innocents. You're insane. Hypocrite. Yeah. You can pile up 1,000 dead bodies in front of me. It doesn't change me. The world will burn. The order won't save it. You will burn with it, Magi. May you walk the land of the Duat. Now, first of all, when he mentions that the world will burn, he might be hinting at the second disaster as it's called, which as we know is the major disaster that Desmond Miles prevented with his death, something that only somebody with higher knowledge would know at this point. Furthermore, the Son of Ra mentions things about Bayek that surely he would not know if he were to be a simple bandit leader. So how did he learn these things? Well, the answer's probably a bit simpler than you think. My best guess is he's probably affiliated with the Order of the Ancients in some way or another. This would explain who was protecting him from being executed, and it's another thing that he mentions in his White Room Confession. This would be a perfect explanation if the Son of Ra were to be a sage, which would make him a person of interest to the Order of the Ancients. Though I'm not entirely sure if the Order knows what sages are yet. Either way, if he were to be a sage, he would likely know things about what the Order of Ancients is interested in, meaning that they could have very easily crossed paths. But regardless of how you look at it, he knows who the Order are, and since they're a secret organisation, that means he must have encountered them at some point. For a simple character who we kill in a side quest, there's a lot of emphasis on this individual's importance. There is a lot more depth to this individual than most of the people that we have to assassinate in the game's side content. So what do we know? The only White Room confession in a side quest, he does share certain traits with sages, such as potential knowledge of the future that only a sage might know, the ability to convince others that his cause is just and right, no matter how ludicrous and insane it might sound, and potentially heterochromia, although that one is not confirmed. He also shares a high level of cunning and intelligence, being able to communicate with his underlings despite being imprisoned, all the while seeming insane to those who cannot possibly begin to understand him. And although sages haven't necessarily come across as insane in the past, they've definitely come across as a little bit mad before. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! 
Fucking nutter, Jesus Christ. Furthermore, the son of Ra is affiliated with the Order of Ancients in some way, as he knows about their existence, and they seem to be protecting him from being executed despite being imprisoned. Something they likely would not do if he were not an asset to them, and the only thing that would potentially make him an asset would be precursor knowledge. I think you get the point by this point. So, do I think that the son of Ra is a sage? Almost definitely. I don't even feel as if this is really a secret sage at all. I feel as if they've made it as obvious as possible without having to say it, because whether or not they said it, there was no relevance to it. And I mean, if Ubisoft filled in all the blanks, what would be left for us? But it does beg a question, if there's no point in having a sage there, why did they put a sage there? Well, I feel as if the answer with Assassin's Creed Syndicate sage and Assassin's Creed Origin sage is that in Unity and for Black Flag, Ubisoft realised that players weren't too interested in the sages and kind of got tired of them. Although that's pretty quickly, as far as the main story is concerned, they thought, right, let's not put them in the main stories as much anymore, but let's not write them out of canon as if they don't exist. The sages are still popping up, because Assassin's Creed canon is not linear, which I feel probably was a very smart way to do it. But regardless, there you have it, everybody. That is the secret sage, if you will, in Assassin's Creed Origin. Although the word secret is very appealing for a title, I think the unspoken sage is probably a more fitting way to describe it. But you know, gotta get them views, so secret sage it is. So anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you've all enjoyed, be sure to go ahead leave a like, subscribe, share, let me know what you think down in the comment section, do you think the son of Ra is a sage, do you not, let me know why either way, and I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.